This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. Hope you're doing fantastic. In this short video, this is going to be a very short video. I'm, I'm reimagining our uh, campgrounds, specifically those with amenities, okay? Those with amenities uh, can be from the city, the county, the state level, also the national level, and also private campgrounds, of course. I want to imagine them, reimagine them, and uh, for the future generations that are going to go camping. Not everybody wants to play pickleball or uh, do shuffleboard, stuff like that, okay? A lot of the newer folks out there, the younger kids, I know my kids, my children and my grandkids do a lot of things on Wi-Fi. So number one thing I would like to change on a lot of these uh, city up to the private parks uh, is to have Wi-Fi and good quality Wi-Fi so people can be connected uh, just to uh, get a recipe for their campground menu or just to uh, check up on their and do their homework because they're on vacation doesn't mean they can't do their homework or uh, to deal with business and uh, check your emails and stuff like that or just watch or stream a movie you know this is contemporary society in the good old United States of course, there's going to be occasions where you just want to have no amenities, just a vault toilet and a bit of water and shut up, okay? Just shut up. <laughs> but if we're going to have uh, modernized parks, and of course we have the budget for it, we spend uh, billions and billions and trillions on other things, but for our national parks, I would like to spend a lot more money uh, upgrading the infrastructure, specifically Wi-Fi. That's number one. I only have two items I want to talk about. Wi-Fi and number two. And of course, there can be a number three. If you have any suggestions for number three, just to, uh, note them in the comment section. Number two is uh, create these little social centers inside the uh, RV park. Be it, again, city, county, state, national park, or private uh, venues. Have a little social city. I'm talking about a high quality social city. I'm not talking about beige furniture with a beige walls with a moose head and just call it good. I'm talking about something a little bit more upscale, a little bit more developed, a bit more aesthetically interesting, you know, social centers, which offer, get this, shockingly, coffee. Hey, you can have a coffee shop in uh, your RV park where people can hang out, have a coffee, have a have a, a pastry, maybe have something that's a bit more healthy also, you know, a tea or whatever, okay? So, so I'm gonna be going to, uh, if I was to go to a state park in New Mexico, Colorado, or here in Texas or California, I would like to have a little space. I'm not talking about a gigantic space. You know, I'm talking about a small space with maybe 30 tables and you could have a coffee. You can hang out there, read your newspaper, check on Wi-Fi, the news, what's going on, maybe stream a little, you know, bit of information, just check out, uh, answer your emails, and then you can go back to the family, to the husband or wife or the children, and you can hang out, okay? So that's my two suggestions, essentially one Wi-Fi, more Wi-Fi, more Wi-Fi, please, more Wi-Fi. <laughs> And to a, a coffee shop, a small venue that's a bit more upscale. I'm not talking about something that's dour, that's horrible. <laughs> that looks like something from the uh, turn of the century. I'm talking about the last century. And uh, something modern and updated. It's interesting, of course. You know, you can have different themes at different parks. You know, this can have a certain New York theme. This can have a Chicago theme. This can have a San Francisco theme. This can have a cowboy Texas theme, you know. Very nice, very nice themes and very pleasant and plush surrounding. I'm not talking about folding tables and card tables. I'm talking about something a little more plush where people can hang out. Is that a good idea? Is that a good idea? And also some flush toilets would be awesome too. <laughs> so it's all about uh, the this county, the city, the state, and the national uh, folks that uh, uh, dole out the cash to spend a little bit more money, uh, make them uh, more inviting, these environments, the uh, national parks, uh, state parks, and all these parks, just make them more inviting and more inclusive uh, to a new generation. We're not all playing pickleball. We're not all playing shuffleboard. And we don't just sit there around the camp, uh, just campfire and just uh, guzzling beer. I don't drink beer. I only had so far in 2021, I had one beer, and that was at the Czech festival. I had to have a Pilsner Urkel, and that was a very nice beer. But I don't drink a lot of beer. I'm not going to sit around there, you know, you know, 
waiting to die. I want to have some fun. I want to hang out at a coffee shop, uh, ch meet some people, talk, have a beverage, have maybe a pastry, maybe have some, uh, something, a, a light salad, something simple. I would like to see these incorporated in a lot of these uh, state and national parks and other parks, and especially all your private parks. You, know, you should have this stuff right now. You know, <sighs> just, just saying, you know, things have to change and progress and be more inclusive to a new generation, okay? So those are my thoughts. What do you think? Uh, those are my two thoughts. You can always add a third. Uh, leave your comments below. Again, please leave your kind and friendly comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JM And check out my photography and video page that deals with uh, my travels and RVing. You know, basically my travel photography. That's uh, rvta.myportfolio.com. Okay, thank you very, very much. And don't forget to uh, check out my new uh, Amazon shop. I'm trying to make a couple bucks here and there. Dare to Dream, and that's below. You can click on a link, and there will be my uh, Amazon shop. I have ideas for photography. I have ideas for RVing. I have some must-have items for RVing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun stuff there. And I, and I actually shop from my shop. So, who would have thunk? Okay, from Fort Worth, Texas, giving you some ideas about uh, things we should do to modernize our RV parks for a new generation. Not everybody wants to play again. You know what they want? All these old folks are playing shuffleboard, pickleball. <laughs> it's almost funny. I don't even do that stuff. I do a lot of hiking. I, I like to go to town and check out what's going on in town. And um, I like to do fishing. But it'd be nice if they had a coffee shop. Wow. And especially if they had a flush toilet. That'd be an awesome thing. <laughs> Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza from my fourth bedroom, my. Uh, my uh, video editing suite and where I store a lot of my junk. I have a lot of two rooms in this uh, section here. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.